Hello, this is Nabs bringing you more Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm going to start out by checking out the characters in Haven, so I'll be cutting to and from as I reach them. If they have something new to talk about, I'll show it. Otherwise, I'll keep it going. Battling the demons of paperwork? That's a fight nobody walks away from clean. You have no idea the number of times I've almost been killed by bills of lading. I've been meaning to come talk to you anyhow. I never officially joined the Inquisition. I don't know how to do this uh, disciplehood thing. I'm a businessman. Never really followed a chosen one before. I'm a person like any other. You don't have to treat me differently. Oh, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm overthinking things. You just don't know what you are to the people out there. The Herald of Andraste is a symbol bigger than any of us. What am I to you, then? None of this shit makes any sense to me. Is this the end of the world? Did Andraste send you through the breach? I have no idea. You heard the crowd singing after Haven was attacked? Please tell me you're not going to burst into song now. Don't worry, I'm not that cruel. I should probably get back to work. Unless, uh, you up for a game of Wicked Grace? Dorian! Anything interesting? A letter regarding Felix. He spilled wine on you in Redcliffe, remember? I was trying to discover what became of him. Where he ended up. And? Nothing. Redcliffe is abandoned, and there's no trace of him. It's as if he never existed. I think the Venatori found out he was helping me. I think they killed him. Are you all right? He was ill, and thus on borrowed time anyhow. That doesn't mean you can't regret his death. I know. Felix used to sneak me treats from the kitchens when I was working late in his father's study. Don't get into trouble on my behalf, I tell him. I like trouble, he'd say. Tevinter could use more mages like him. Those who put the good of others above themselves. Were the two of you... Felix and I? What an odd question. No. I had no intention of abusing Alexius's hospitality by seducing his son. Not that I've been proper my whole life by any means. It wasn't like that. Even in illness, Felix was the best of us. With him around, you knew things could be better. You make it sound like he was a better person than you. What a mad thing to say. Few people are better than I. Very well, a better person, clearly, not nearly as handsome. Thankfully, Felix wasn't the only decent sort kicking around Thedas. Alright, that looks like all out of Dorian. Well, let's try him again, see if there's anything else. Did you know we're actually related, Inquisitor? Related? Oh, not first cousins or anything like that. Can you imagine? You're a Trevelyan, however, and somewhere in the dank nethers of my family tree, there was also a Trevelyan. Perhaps he was even the one who ventured to Ostwick to establish the branch. We are talking long ago, of course. You know that off the top of your head? Not the top. Maybe the lower middle, thereabouts. Bloodlines are serious business in Tevinter. You're taught lessons and tested by strict nannies. I heard your family mentioned, and I had to go through all the old mnemonics, but yes, there it is. I knew there was a reason we looked so much alike. Learn something new every day. Nice, isn't it? Like being at a quality library, provided you're not the one stocking the shelves. You said Alexius was a mentor of yours. He was my patron, sponsoring me to the higher levels of the Circle of Magi. 
In return, my successes were his. I had a lot of successes, naturally. Alexius was most pleased. He and I used to talk over Brandy about the corruption. How we could one day make real change in the Imperium. And then he... gave up. He stopped trying. Why did he give up? On a journey to Hosburg, a Darkspawn raid killed his wife and sickened his son. I remember hearing the news. He hadn't been there, you see. Alexius was convinced he could have protected them. The guilt tore him up. I helped him with his research for a while, and then we drifted apart. That must have been difficult. Back then, I was furious. I told him to snap out of it, move on. I thought I had all the answers. Later, I regretted my hasty words. But we didn't speak again until he approached me for the Venatori. Too much pride, I suppose. Plus, I was busy drinking. One must have priorities. Was it hard being away from him? It was hard not having a patron, yes. I'm not exactly built to fit in. At any rate, he's dead now. More's the pity. I should go. As you wish. Let's see what Viviana has to say. My dear, did you need me for something? Is there anything I can do to help your efforts at restoring the Circle? After the Circles fell, their libraries were plundered by scavengers. A thousand years of recorded knowledge in the hands of bandits. It makes me sick to think of it. I've received news that some tomes have been located, if you are interested in writing this wrong. I'll look into it for you. If you can take care of this matter, the Circle would be in your debt. Alright, find a bunch of books. Like we don't have a lot of other things that we search for. Juliana has to say. Take one of my birds? Yes. Um. Nope. Nothing new there. I'll leave you to your work. Inquisitor. Oh, Mother Giselle. What have you got to say? My lady Inquisitor, it's good of you to speak with me. I have news regarding one of your companions. But a winter. Is that a note of distaste I detect, Mother Giselle? I... admit his presence here makes me uncomfortable, Inquisitor. But my feelings are of no importance. I have been in contact with his family. House Pavas, out of Carinas. Are you familiar with them? He's mentioned his family. They don't appear to be on good terms. Yes. I believe you're correct. The family sent a letter describing the estrangement from their son and pleading for my aid. They've asked to arrange a meeting quietly without telling him. They fear it's the only way he'll come. Since you seem to be on good terms with the young man, I'd hoped... If you think I'm going to trick Dorian into meeting his family, I feared you might say that. The family will send a retainer to meet the young man at the Red Cliff Tavern, to take him onward. If he truly does not wish this reunion, he can always end the matter there. I pray you change your mind, Inquisitor. Perhaps their letter will persuade you. If there is any chance of success in this, it behooves us to act. All right, so she became a carrier. Get Dorian to do something that he's probably not going to want to do. Alright, let's go back and talk to Dorian. He's up here somewhere. Alright, we're back to Dorian. Something you need? Dorian, there's a letter you need to see. A letter? Is it a naughty letter? A humorous <laughs> proposal from some Antivan dowager? Not quite. It's from your father. From my father? I see. And what does Magister Hallward want, pray tell? A meeting. Show me this letter. 
I know my son? What my father knows of me would barely fill a thimble. This is so typical. I'm willing to bet this retainer is a henchman, hired to knock me on the head and drag me back to Tevinter. That would be hard to do while I stood there. He expects me to travel with Mother Giselle, although Maker knows why he'd think I would. Let's go. Let's meet this so-called family retainer. If it's a trap, we escape and kill everyone. You're good at that. If it's not, I send the man back to my father with the message that he can stick his alarm in his wit's end. There seems to be bad blood between you and your family. <laughs> Interesting turn of phrase. But you're correct. They don't care for my choices, nor I for theirs. Because you wouldn't get married? Because you left? That too. Let's go meet this retainer then. I wonder how much my father paid this man to wait around just in case I showed. <sighs> we'll find out soon enough. Alright, so we gotta go mission to take Dorian to see... Uh, somebody his father hired. Alright. Let's just go take care of that, shall we? I'm assuming he's in Redcliffe. So then we'll see where the markers are, just in case. I don't remember, which happens a lot. Alright, we got some done missions over here. Observing the deadlock, 93 gold. Noble families are too enrolled in their own conflict. To even acknowledge us, we have acquired some additional trading partners who are tired of waiting for a winner to emerge. Oh, that's good. Uh, let's see. So that's, so that's available, that's available. Let's go see if we can't pick up resources from the hidden Let us begin. Another mission complete. False accusations. Confront mages in the woods, in the waiting woods. So we've got another mission added to it. Except she can't complete that one. Okay. Uh, available coin. Let's see what she can find in available coin. Inquisitor. All right now. Oh, it doesn't show me where's... Well, well let's start in the Hitterlands, because I think what's, uh... I think that's where it's going to be at. Let's see. Let's take, uh... Blackwall, Cassandra, and Dorian, because we need to take him. I got another uh, mission over here. Hold on, let's grab... Find out what other resources we need to allocate. Dispatch for you. What is it? See for yourself, sir. Oh, Ferelden Lock. Oh, I'm not going to find any of those. All right. Let's fast travel to where we need to go. Favorite first enchanter. I'll pick that up offline. So let's fast travel to Redcliffe. Round. Oh, I can unlock those doors. Yep, King Alistair, I remember. The Dragon Age Origin! Uh, oh, Master Bianca's Grip. Oh, sh he liked that. Alright, another bottle. Vintage Warden Steed. Alright, we got more liquor. Yay! Drinky, drinky, drinky. 
All right, let's get down. I thought there was another locked door around here, but I'm not going to go hunting for it right now. Yes, we know. Alistair grew up at Redcliffe. This one? It looks like. Ah, oh, it works a second time. Uh oh, nobody's here. This doesn't bode well. Dorian. Father. So the whole story about the family retainer was just, what, a smokescreen? Then you were told. I apologize for the deception, Inquisitor. I never intended for you to be involved. Of course not. Magister Parvis couldn't come to Skyhold and be seen with the dread Inquisitor. What would people think? What is this exactly, Father? Ambush? Kidnapping? A warm family reunion? This is how it has always been. Considering you lied to get him here, Dorian has every right to be furious. You don't know the half of it. But maybe you should. Dorian, there's no need to. I prefer the company of men. My father disapproves. I'll need you to explain that. Did I stutter? Men and the company thereof as in sex. Surely you've heard of it. You've never been with a woman? Or wanted to? Allow me to say, women are fine creatures. You, for instance, are amazing above all others. They're just... not for me. That's not so beyond belief, is it? This display is uncalled for. No, it is called for. You called for it by luring me here. This is not what I wanted. I'm never what you wanted, Father. Or had you forgotten? That's a big concern in Tevinter, then? Only if you're trying to live up to an impossible standard. Every Tevinter family is intermarrying to distill the perfect mage, perfect body, perfect mind. The perfect leader. It means every perceived flaw, every aberration is deviant and shameful. It must be hidden. So that's what all of this is about? Who you sleep with? That's not all it's about. Dorian, please. If you'll only listen to me. Why? So you can spout more convenient lies? He taught me to hate blood magic. The resort of the weak mind. Those are his words. But what was the first thing you did when your precious heir refused to play pretend for the rest of his life? You tried to change me. I only wanted what was best for you. You wanted the best for you? Your fucking legacy. Anything for that. You got a lot off your chest. Can't you give him a chance to do the same? Tell me why you came. If I knew, I would drive you to the Inquisition. You didn't. I joined the Inquisition because it's the right thing to do. Once, I had a father who would have known that. Once, I had a son who trusted me, a trust I betrayed. I only wanted to talk to him, to hear his voice again, to ask him to forgive me.
he says we're alike. Too much pride. Once I would have been overjoyed to hear him say that. Now I'm not certain. I don't know if I can forgive him. Are you all right? No, not really. Thank you for bringing me out there. It wasn't what I expected, but... It's something. Maker knows what you must think of me now, after that whole display. I think you're very brave. Brave? It's not easy to abandon tradition and walk your own path. At any rate, time to drink myself into a stupor. It's been that sort of day. Join me sometime, if you've a mind. All right, a little family get together. Kind of interesting to put in a video game. A little, little action of what happens in real life sometimes. All right, now I'm going to go find another character, so I'll probably break here and pick it up when I find one. See if there's a new conversation to go on. All right, let's talk to Mother Giselle. See if she has any more great my wisdom. Maker, no, my heart. Ah, Take from me a you. life of sorrow. You have finally Lift me come from a world of pain. Home. Judge the me maker worthy has of your you on a difficult pride. path. I pray you walk it safely. I remember our talk out there, before we found Skyhold. It wasn't just the Maker who put me on this path, was it? The Inquisitor could never have been Cassandra, or Leliana, or me for that matter. We are too political, too tied to the Chantry and all its failings. But I did not make you stand against Corypheus. I did not make you risk death to save the people of Haven. Only you could be the Inquisitor. I only pray the power of the Inquisition is enough. I'll do my best to earn this. You earned this in Haven. The Maker has chosen you to deliver us from Corypheus. You have the faith and support of everyone here. Never forget that. Now, was there anything else? Is there anything I can do to help you or your people? My healers would benefit from more supplies. We have run short of even common goods with so many wounded. If you could deliver this list and the items on it to Quartermaster Thren, she could get us what we need. It may not seem like much, but it would enable my healers to save many lives. Farewell, revered mother. Be well, Inquisitor. Alright, more list of stuff we gotta pick up. Everybody wants us to be the delivery boy. Alright, let's see if Cullen has anything new for us. How's he doing with delirium? He's just staring out the window. Gloat all you like. I have this one. Are you sassing me, Commander? I didn't know you had it in you. Why do I even... Inquisitor. Leaving, are you? Does this mean I win? Are you two playing nice? I'm always nice. You need to come to terms with my inevitable victory. You'll feel much better. Really? Because I just won. And <laughs> I feel fine. Don't get smug. There will be no living with you. <laughs> I should return to my duties as well. Unless you would care for a game. You're on. Prepare the board, Commander. As a child, I played this with my sister. She would get this stuck-up grin whenever she won. Which was all the time. My brother and I practiced together for weeks. Oh, the look on her face the day I finally won. Between serving the Templars and the Inquisition, I haven't seen them in years. I wonder if she still plays. You have siblings? Two sisters and a brother. Where are they now? They moved to South Reach after the Blight. I do not write to them as often as I should. Ah, oh, it's my turn. All right, let's see what you've got.
This may be the longest we've gone without discussing the Inquisition or related matters. To be honest, I appreciate the distraction. You can't be serious all the time. Well, maybe you can. <laughs> I believe this one is yours. Well played. All right. Well, that didn't get us anywhere, but it's interesting. All right, we'll pick this up uh, when we find somebody else. All right, let's have a little chat with Josephine, see if uh, anything to do on this front. Inquisitor, I must speak with you. What is it? I must explain something first about the Montelier's fortunes. My family made their fortune as traders in Antiva until a scandal exiled us from Orlais some ages ago. It's devastated our finances. The Montelier's have, in fact, been in debt for over a hundred years. Dead or no, you appear to be surviving. That isn't enough. A disaster could wipe us out completely. For generations, we've done everything to keep creditors at bay. Sold our lands to stave off interest. It's just... It is infuriating to see my family still reduced to this. I'm to become head of our house. If I sell any more of our land, my family will become destitute. That cannot be my legacy to them. Most people worry about their next meal, never mind an estate. I'm not blind, but I worry for my family. My foolish sister Yvette with her daydreams, my brothers trying to rebuild our fleet with their own hands. Is it wrong to hope they never know hardship? Is there anything I can do? I'd almost solved our problems for a while. I negotiated a chance to reinstate the Montiliers as landed traders in Orlais. We could rebuild with that. But when I dispatched paperwork to Val Royale, I've just learned my carriers were murdered. And the documents restoring my family's trading status destroyed. Who hates the Montiliers enough to do that? Leliana made inquiries that bore success. Comte Boisvert, a nobleman in Val Royale, claims to know who killed my messengers. He has a request that you come when I meet him, so he's seen publicly conferring with you. What will being seen with me gain the Comte? The Comte will drop hints at parties he's to meet with an important visitor. Allies and rivals will take note. Once he's met you, there will be speculation. The Comte will subtly spin reports to his advantage. He will use us. But if he knows who killed my people, I ask that we indulge him. If that's what it takes to get to the bottom of this, I'll meet this Comte with you. Thank you, Inquisitor. It means... You are too kind. I must know who killed my couriers just to harm my family. All right, sounds like a trip to Valor Royale again. So let's take care of that. Let's go see what this great messenger has. Oh man, we'll check out what we've got accomplished. Resources, nice. Anything done over here? Nope, everything's still working. Uh, busy. All right, we'll send her to do that. Now let's go to Battle Royale. Oh, we can't go there. Well, then how am I supposed to...
maybe I have to quick travel versus the map. Let's just do it the map way and see if we can go there. What's this? Hey, we've already talked to these guys. This is what I mean by the game has some glitches and has some things out of order. We've already talked to them. We've already got what our specialist is select. All right, where in this map are we trying to go? All right, to the bridge. Which is this way. I guess we've looked at it already. Door off the bay. What no. happened here? And where is the merchant we intended to meet? A letter to a slaver. Not Seems a big fan of that. Angered Calpurnia by sending her mistreated slaves. Was that mercy or anger at damaged stock? She was paying a fortune for literate slaves. What? A horde of these venatories not enough? Something's up. That sounds like recruiting. Well, we found people trying to ransack the place. I didn't hit nothing. Whoa, something happened here. That must have been Vicinius. Uh, I see Calpurnia sent Venatori to deal with him. Let's look around. There's stuff everywhere. A shattered crystal. Let's find the pieces. Something over here. Here's another one. I had no intention. I warned you of consequences should the slaves you bring me suffer in your care. Venatori, show him my displeasure. No! Wait! Wait! That's a dwarven memory crystal. The Shapred used them to store memories. Don't ask me how. Dagna might know what to make of it. All right, so we need to go find out about that. That was clearly not Josephine's uh, person that Josephine's looking for. That's over this way. Still a pretty town. You must control yourself. One's gotta have a lot of money to afford this place. Josephine! Do you know where this noble wanted to meet us? I do. The Comte Boisvert invited us to his mansion, not far from here. I pray he clears up the deaths of my messengers, as promised. Lead the way. Welcome, my friend. Thank you for seeing us, Comte Boisvert. The honor is mine. Please, sit. It's an honor to assist two such distinguished guests. We appreciate your help, Comte. The death of Lady Montilly's servants must weigh heavily on you. Have you heard of the House of Repose? The Assassin's League? 
My contacts obtained a copy of a document in the archive. Contract for life. The House of Repose is hereby sworn to eliminate anyone attempting to overturn the Montelier's trading exile in Orlais. They're not just after your messengers, Josephine. They'll try for you, too. I... I am afraid so, yes. The contract was signed by a noble family. The Du Parquets. But the Du Parquets died out as a noble line over 60 years ago. Indeed. But the contract was signed 109 years ago. How can a family try to kill you after they died out? The Du Parquets were our rivals. They drove the Montelliers from Val Royaux. This contract was drawn up over a hundred years ago, but it wasn't invoked until I tried to overturn my family's exile. Unpleasant though it may be, the House of Repose is merely fulfilling its contractual duties. If the people who wanted your family dead are gone, why are the assassins still after you? A contract is a contract, Inquisitor. Our legion businesses live and die by their reputations. The entire guild's welfare would be endangered if an agreement was tossed aside on a whim of time or fate. She's quite right, Your Worship. The House of Repose is doing what it feels necessary. By its standards. I assume you have a thought or two on this, Josephine? The Du Parquets still have descendants under the common branch. If we elevate them to nobility, a Du Parquet could annul the contract on my life. That will take time, Lady Montelier. Time during which the House of Repose will be obliged to hunt you. Will they now? You are exceedingly well informed. You're not to have said you'd heard rumors at best. A bit of subterfuge. This contract on your life is an ugly business. One the House of Repose deeply regrets. But this is all, eh? Even an assassin's world is his bond. Does Comte Boisvert actually exist? Absolutely. The Comte's offer to reveal the killers of Lady Montilly's messengers was genuine. So was his information somehow. A end to be tied up later. I thought you were remarkably well informed about a secret assassin's guild. Uh, we are hardly secret, my dear Inquisitor, just normally much more reclusive. The contract on Lady Montilly's life is so unusual, we felt the courtesy of an explanation was in order. It is appreciated, Monsieur. Your idea to seek out a Duparquet to revoke our orders is uh, an interesting one. I wish you luck. I did not come to shed blood today, Inquisitor. Only to speak. Might I pass? Why warn us about your contract and let us go? In Orlais, it is only decent to inform those involved in a contract when extraordinary circumstances conspire. And the Guild's reputation would suffer if you ignored the contract. I quite understand. Thank you, my lady. May we conclude with my departure? Go, then. Good day, Your Worship. My lady, I pray we'd never meet again. Well, I didn't think our meeting would end like this. We'll deal with these assassins. I have some thoughts. Let's discuss them back at Skyhold. I'll feel safer with the castle's walls around me. Does it never rain here? Something? Goodness, uh, Comte Poivre, is that you? Mm. Oh, the lock's been broken off. We'll find a saw. Mm. I realize the cabinet is quite valuable, Comte, but surely... Mm. A locksmith, then? Mm. Mm. As you wish. Mm. All right. Love the hole in the ceiling. You couldn't get that away with that here unless you were like California or Florida. And even Florida, putting a rug down. I mean, talk about getting saturated all the time. And a wood, a wood table. 
Gold leaf inlay, nice. All right, gonna stop looking at the design. We got things to deal with. All right, let's speak to Liliana. Your trip to the merchant's home yielded results. Before she became leader of the Venatori, Calpurnia was a slave from Minrathus. Even slaves with magic are treated unkindly in Tevinta. If Corypheus freed her, no wonder she follows him. She must believe freedom will reign under Corypheus. Perhaps. Calpurnia has freed every slave she's purchased. Vicinius tracked his shipments. My agents will investigate. This may lead us to Calpurnia's lair. In the meantime, speak to Dagna. The crystal you found on Vicinius fascinates her. All right, so we'll go see about that. If you have the thing for Josephine? Yes. Oh, apparently not. I'll leave you to your work. All right, I'm gonna go down to the Undercroft to talk to uh, the gal knows about this crystal. Be meet you down there. All right, we're in the Undercroft. Let's speak to her about the crystal. This is an amazing find, Inquisitor. The Shaperid and Orzammar had something like it. Mm, greetings to you too, Dagna. They preserve voices, or a likeness. Memories, you know? You don't know. Doesn't matter. The Venatori cracked it, but here... These documents you found, Inquisitor. I've made interesting... <laughs> ...discoveries. Not the fear of demons. But the power will draw them, unless you have wards against possession. Once you have become the vessel, demons will be beneath your concern. Prepare as I have depicted. I shall, Elder One. Saw it. Oh, sorry. The crystal couldn't take any more. Wasn't meant for this. That looked like Corypheus and Calpurnia. It was a memory stored in the crystal. No, that was vital information. Did you see Calpurnia's expression? Their alliance may be less than harmonious. Corypheus said Calpurnia was going to be a vessel. A vessel for what? They spoke of power and demons. But Calpurnia is already a magister. Corypheus must have some other plan. Crystal showed us Calpurnia hasn't bought into Corypheus's myth just yet. Well, I'm no shaper, but I might be able to get it to remember new sounds. Really? If we hid it among Calpurnia's belongings, imagine what we could learn. Huh. I can split it and keep half here. We could hear her speaking right then. It's not how they're supposed to work, and it'll probably break. As I said, I'm no shaper. Inquisitor. Calpurnia's Venatori have been digging up elven ruins. Tracking them might lead us to her. If this crystal were placed in a lair, I cannot overstate the value of what we might learn. Why not attack Calpurnia head on? You attract attention, Inquisitor. Her spies would see you coming. A single agent may slip in and out without notice. This crystal may yield great rewards. Right, simple. Dagna, any chance it'll work? Oh, there's always a chance. I mean, yes. If there's a rift growing between Corypheus and Calpurnia, we must exploit it. I'll have the crystal ready soon. I think. Let me find the Quicksilver. Alright, let's talk to her again. What can I do for you? Nope. See you later, Doctor. I can't wait. Alright, I'm gonna go talk to Josephine. See if she's got anything on the family business. So meet you over there. Alright, we're gonna talk to Josephine and find out about family what business. Did the say? I'm so sorry, Inquisitor. I never thought my family's trading status would trap us in an assassin's plot. Between our soldiers and spies, Sky holds safer than anywhere else in Thetis. Yet the problem persists. 
I've tracked down the last two paraquets. If they become gentry, they can annul the contract on my life. We'll require a noble from Val Royaux to sponsor them, a judge to provide documents, a minister to ratify them. It's too like you to take the longest course of action, even when your life is at stake. I assume you already know everything about this mess. There is a faster way, Josephine. The original contract on your life is in the vaults of the House of Repose. If my agents infiltrate it and destroy the original, the assassin will have no obligation to chase you. Liliana, please. I want no more bloodshed over a personal affair. Don't be so stubborn, Josie. How long will it take you to gather these favors in Val Royo? Give me some time to think this over. I'll post a watch on our ambassador in case the House of Repose visits. I appreciate it, but I still believe elevating the Duparakets will solve this. First, we need to perform some favors in Barwayo. I'd be happy to discuss where we could begin. All right, let's see if they. Uh... Well, let's talk to her again. See what that Any gives news us. News on the House of Repose, Inquisitor. You said I'd have to do some favors in Val Royale if we want to make the Duparakets lords. The Countess Dion is our first step. Her lover, a mage from the White Spire, is missing. Bring her news of him and she'll be very amenable to sponsoring the Duparakets as lords. Alright, so we gotta go find that. Let's see if that's in our... War Council options, though I don't think anyone's available. We got more, but I think everyone's busy. Yep. Everyone's busy. Hissing waste. Let's check out the Western approach, shall we? If you require any help finding this woman who leads the Venatori, I do keep contacts into Winter. Thank you. But I must involve as few people as possible. Calpania has a gift for All right, we've unlocked the Western approach. And we'll take a look at it in the next video. So if you like these videos, hit that like button, subscribe, leave your comments. Let me know uh, if there's any games that you, you know, especially if they're retro older games that you'd like to see. Um, and if I've played them, yay! If not, always up for something new and working on new games when they come out. Till then, well, next next video I'll be looking at their Western approach. Till then, later!